All right, guys, Wes here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about the upcoming PlayStation 5 Pro. According to an insider, the PlayStation 5 Pro timeline could be sooner than expected. Since the PlayStation 4 generation, the Pro model has been a staple, and it sounds like history is going to repeat itself because the PS5 Pro is happening, it's real, and it sounds like the reveal window is pretty soon. Now, this information is coming from Insider Gaming's Tom Henderson, and he posted on Twitter, it seems like everyone is hyped that the PS5 Pro might be announced at CES which if you guys didn't know ces is about to be going on and that's the yearly convention to showcase new tech products and everyone thinks that sony's going to do something there but tom said personally i'd be surprised if they were to announce a new console nine to ten months from the release if that's still the timeline they're going with so i'm more inclined to believe a late q3 announcement now somebody responded to him in the thread saying even if they did it'd be a stupid here's the new logo to which tom said yeah they're not going to hinder nine to ten months of regular ps5 sales by officially announcing the pro model now this is pretty par for the course usually whenever a big console like that gets announced especially a mid-generation refresh they have to really be strategic about it because they obviously want to keep on selling ps5 models as well as the ps5 slim models and if they just go ahead and announce a ps5 pro model at ces this month then that would be really dumb like we are still so far away from the release that people would just not buy a ps5 until the pro model gets announced and released so yeah if tom is right with a q3 2024 announcement for a ps5 pro that would make the actual release state in q4 of 2024 which is basically just the holiday season quarter now you're probably asking yourself dang the ps5 pro seems like it's releasing way too early if you look at the playstation 4 generation that generation started in 2013 with the ps4 pro model being released in late 2016 about three years after the initial launch of the ps4 so technically the ps5 pro should have launched last year but due to the big global situation that essentially shut down the world in 2020 near the release date of the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S. Four years after the launch makes a little bit more sense. Now that the stock situation for the PS5 has been sorted out, a lot of people are able to buy the console and the PS5 is selling super well. A pro model getting announced and released this year does make sense, especially whenever you look at the technology that the PS5 Pro could offer. Now the big new feature around the block lately is the AI upscaling technology with the Nvidia DLSS and AMD's FSR with frame generation. Now according to GameRant.com, it sounds like the PS5 Pro will indeed support AI upscaling. They said in their article, in spite of supposedly featuring a similar set of internals of the PS5, the PlayStation 5 Pro will support proprietary upscaling technology akin to NVIDIA's DLSS. And this is coming from Giant Bomb's Jeff Grubb, who reported that in mid-December. According to Jeff Grubb, this software solution will allow the upcoming console to push its hardware well beyond the base of PS5's model is capable of doing. So yeah, they're obviously not going to have any NVIDIA DLSS. LSS, which is the AI focused technology, as it sounds like Sony and maybe AMD have partnered up to bring proper AI upscaling to the PlayStation 5 console. So yeah, a PS5 that has AI upscaling is literally a game changer, and it could be the defining factor of gaming going forward. It would essentially make it so games that support this AI upscaling would be able to target frame rates that they typically wouldn't be able to support with the current PS5 technology. Now, it could be that the PS5 Pro is literally just going to offer AMD FSR 3 with their frame generation but well, who knows it could be proprietary and something that sony has created if you look at the xbox series x i believe that console is able to support fsr on the system already but the playstation 5 is a little bit of a different situation it's hard to predict everything that playstation is going to be doing but a mid-gen refresh would be the thing to keep fans happy while we wait on bigger games to be released now one thing that is for certain is playstation's first party lineup is looking a little bit thin compared to previous years playstation hasn't done a big console conference that has wowed us in a while so 2024 could be the year where we get a bunch of games revealed with release dates that are set towards the relatively near future that the ps5 pro will support now another thing to consider is we have a big game coming out next year in 2025 and that is gta 6 the ps5 pro being revealed this year could mean that rockstar is going to release a version of gta 6 that is specifically optimized for the playstation 5 pro console this would be very interesting and it would shake up the industry a little bit or keep playstation as the dominant console on the market because it sounds like xbox is not going to release a mid-generation console unless plans have changed and they end up releasing one the ps5 pro might have a very easy time gobbling up most of the console sales of gta 6 which is wild now granted the playstation is already the dominant console in this current generation and they're already going to be gobbling up most of the sales for the gta 6 release but you can't deny a ps5 pro releasing with gta 6 that plays definitively on that 
console would be absolutely wild especially if gta 6 doesn't release on pc at launch which we are expecting it not to i just really hope that playstation gives us another big showcase this year that gives us games to look forward to on their next console or their mid-generation console at least so that way we have games to look forward to whenever the playstation 5 pro releases this year now in terms of the specs of the playstation 5 pro on what it could be we obviously don't know exactly what the specs are but some of the speculation that we have right now is that the ps5 pro would offer a amd zen 4 8 core and 16 thread cpu and clocked at 4.2 gigahertz that's variable the gpu would be amd radeon rdna 3 with 23 plus teraflops and two times the hardware ray trace and acceleration that's another thing to consider is the ray tracing technology was fairly new whenever the playstation 5 launched and it still is pretty new so having the two times the hardware ray trace and acceleration is pretty good news now if you look at the gpu of the ps5 compared to the ps5 pro the ps5 base model is an rdna 2 with 36 compute units and they'd essentially be doubling it with the rdna 3 with 72 compute units now as for the ram with the ps5 pro base model it uses 16 gigabytes of ddr6 unified and the ram on the ps5 pro would allegedly be 20 gigabytes at ddr6x unified now in terms of the storage this is probably the biggest part of the ps5 that was the seller and that is the 825 gigabyte pcie gen 4 ssd at 5.5 gigabytes a second now with the ps5 pro i'm guessing they're going to try to double that as well with 1.65 terabytes of pcie gen 4 ssd at that same 5.5 gigabytes a second now in terms of the ports i'm guessing things are going to look pretty similar except the bluetooth technology will likely be increased but like i said the big difference right here would be the ai upscaler so games that are almost able to hit 60 fps but are locked to 30 those games might be able to push the limits and hit that smooth 60 fps frame rate target obviously things are a little bit more complicated than that but ai technology is the future especially for gaming whenever it comes to upscaling basically creating fake frames with frame generation while making the quality look just as good if not better either way it's really exciting i cannot wait for the ps5 pro to launch when that's going to be most likely this year whether or not we get the reveal during ces i don't know i think it'd be pretty crazy if they did it maybe they will just give us a logo saying ps5 pro which honestly would look like the ps5 logo with the pro symbol that way if they do a showcase early in the year like let's say in a couple months they could tell people that these are the games that are specifically coming out and tailored for the playstation 5 pro now in terms of the pricing model my guess is that'd be that 500 maybe 550 dollar price tag i doubt they would give us a 600 dollar price tag that'd be crazy but with the ps5 pro releasing that means a potential price drop for the base ps5 model which would help alleviate that barrier of entry fee that's one of the reasons why the xbox series s is doing so well is because it's priced at that 299 mark and it's not at that 399 where it will eventually start breaking the bank for people if they make the standard ps5 at the 350 mark and then the ps5 pro at the 399 or possibly even 499 then that'd be the best case scenario but yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up with this video let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section do me a favor hit the like button do you plan on buying the ps5 pro do you even have a ps5 yet if you enjoyed my coverage do me a favor and hit the subscribe button we've got a giveaway going on where we will be giving away a playstation 5 at 80,000 subscribers thanks again for watching everybody this has been west from vgl and i'll talk to you guys again